car. Hey guys, this is the Anime Plus review on Mob Psycho Season 3. My name is RJ with my co-host Jay Weston. Let's get into it. Um, so beginning, right? Highlights. Man, there are so many highlights in this uh, Oh, this yes, anime, it was. Um, one I can point out was uh, Mob um, getting his popular phase, which is pretty, pretty his funny. Chad, it's... His Chad phase. That was, that was hilarious. I think Mob Psycho has to be one of the funniest uh, anime to come out like right now this is the funniest one to me <clears throat> i think i think they do a very good blend of like moving the story along but yeah. having this comedic Com yeah, um timing comedic to time. be honest yeah one of my favorite moments is the fight between uh shigeo and temple on the broccoli oh yeah for sure i think that's one of my favorite moments yeah. uh especially the ending of it yeah, Dimple. very heartfelt. Ooh, very Dimple. heartfelt. We all thought Dimple died, but yeah, I spoiler. had I had hope. Yeah. <laughs> he did. I I was I was I was. Uh, I, I was nope, like, I was like Dimple's a, one of the Dimple's fan. Fa he's like one of the favorite characters. Why would they kill him off? His return was so amazing. His return, so amazing. but to be honest, I felt like that return was warranted. I was like, you know what, Dimple would return at this moment. You know, if he returned at any moment, it would be this moment. Yeah. I think okay. yeah, I think it was perfectly executed. When Reagan, um, at the end, was uh, kind of trying to turn Mob away from being like, I guess he couldn't control his power at the end of the day. Um, at the end of the series. Yep. Series at the end of the season. season. Sorry. I, I believe uh, I believe it was the last two episodes or the last three episodes that we went into Shigeo. Yeah, losing control. control, which is the first time we've seen him like go that crazy because yes. he, he's lost control but it was always like controlled like he's always had it like okay he's lost control but he's kind of directed it towards still, the bad guy yeah you know sure, it's never sure. been like he lost control to where he's like destroying everything yeah as far as the season three goes there, there are two overarching stories the first i would say first six episodes which is um his journey on I would say the popular phase, which is super hilarious. And also talking about the broccoli at the end of the season two battle. Yeah. Uh, after that is done, then we go into Shigeo expressing his feelings and just overall growing up. He was like acknowledging Dimple as a really good friend because before he didn't really acknowledge Dimple as anything but a, um, a demon he had to exercise or a ghost he had to exercise exorcise dimple was like look you this could be yours like the reason why i did this is because you're so powerful and you have so much potential and you kind of just don't do anything with it very true you know and, and, and we explore that potential for sure and we all know dimple's not a bad guy like even when dimple was like doing all this bad stuff we're just like man when mob shows up dimple's gonna like not do anything <clears throat> you know so that was basically the over, o o overarching story in the first, I would say, six episodes, six, seven episodes. Yeah. Then we go into him confessing his feelings uh, towards the girls, the girls that he likes from right. the very beginning and losing control over the power and everybody right. trying to bring him back. So he got hit by a car and he kind of just blacked out and like that. Mob, so it was like two, two sides of him, like the mob and Shigeo, right? Yeah, we're going to go into that and we're going to go into that. To give a little bit more context, uh, he was going to meet the girl that he likes, and finally confessing. Because if you if you guys remember, when when did he learn the body uh, the body improvement club? Uh, the first the, the first two episodes of the second season, I believe. Yeah, because like he was a uh, part of it? the like the extra traditional the cult, or the cult. A cult. There you go. A cult, cult, cult club. club, and then like he was just like. You know, I have a talent for this. And they're just like, yeah, you do have a talent for this. He's like, I'm going to join the body improvement club. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. He was the last person to make the decision. Yeah. And he shows the and everybody, body, club, body and improvement club. Everybody um, accepted it too, which was pretty good. I think yeah. he's really good friends. Yeah. After that happens, and you see a little bit of tidbits of other people that he's fought before yeah. uh, help him. Yeah, he help was getting him. flowers. It was just one flower. And then the, the psychic who. Yeah was everything about um, plants who he defeated already, helped him out. He mm -hmm. said, you know what, give me those. Here you go. Right. He went in and then he saw a kid. Uh, he was playing with a ball and the kid was about to get hit. So mm -hmm. and then he kind of just reacted. That kind of reminded me of like a Yu Yu Hakusho like in the beginning. You remember how you Oh, that's true. Pushed him? That's uh, how he did. I, I, uh, yeah. I wonder if that's an another trope, an anime trope, isekai trope. 
getting yeah. hit, getting hit, and then suddenly transporting yourself into another. That's the isekai, definitely, but this is <laughs> not me, isekai. Uh, Mom Saisho, his fight um, against uh, the guy with the blonde hair, I forget his name at the time. I know. Um, yeah, so his fight with the guy with the blonde hair was crazy, and it was um, animated really well. But before we get into, like, the ending, so that's pretty much the ending. Before we get into that, let's talk about this episode to where um, the, the aliens... The extraterrestrials come. You seen that episode? Don't I say, scammed through it. Don't don't say that on camera, dude. I'm kidding. <laughs> Is that just kidding? No, no, I, I, I was kidding. That that episode was it was trippy, trippy, for sure. dude. It was animated differently. They all like the, the the movements. I think it was a really good um, animation. Prowess. Animated like it wasn't like it was animated differently than it, we were normally used to. Yeah. But the compositions felt like a movie. Like I, I think the animators are Mob Psycho deserve an award, man. To be honest, what do the, you think the future will be for end. Mob Psycho? I think it's the end right now. Is it? I think it's done. It should oh. end. I think that they they it's, left it off it's, on a it's perfect a great ending. ending. To be honest, I think ending. Mob Psycho ended off perfectly last time too. Whenever he defeated the the big boss. I don't know. Yeah, because. The broccoli thing. Oh, the broccoli did come. But, like, nothing was there with the broccoli. It was just a broccoli. I know. It was just funny. It was just like, oh. How, how you explain, you know, in the world? Yeah, they did explain that. Explain it away. He said, I'm going to pick it up and throw it in the ocean. <laughs> if anybody could, you could. The voice actors are amazing. Japanese and English voice actors were really good. Like, <clears> I can <throat> say this. They have the best voice cast of uh, this batch of anime, to be honest. To me. Hmm. I don't think so. I can only I can only say about the dub because I didn't really watch the sub. <clears throat> Which is, by the way, good on you for watching both. And no, not compare. every not every episode. No, no, I got like you. I would say like every other episode. Yeah, I'm, I mean that's dedication right there. Well, I seen the the sub first because it was subbed before it was dubbed, like the first season. Then I was like, oh, okay. Then the dub came out simultaneously for the second season. I was mm -hmm. like, oh shit! So I watched the dub. Yeah, like, it was. I love, um, love this. It was pretty fast. Every time I saw the Crunchyroll uh, in the sub, the the dub wasn't that far away. Quality wise, peak quality, peak uh, animation, um, peak story. To be honest, man, I give it like it's damn near perfect to me. I think like nine, to nine, honest, nine point five. To be honest, um, I don't know why Mom Psycho is not more popular. Yeah, man. Uh, so, rating. What I tell you, we get 8.5. 8.5? 8 8.5. 8 you know, I'm going to be generous, man. I'm going to give that shit a 10. 10. Freaking, it's a 10. A freaking 10? Yeah, man. 10. Oh, wow. It's a 10. S tier anime, dude. S tier anime, for sure. S tier. I think the 1 to 10 ratio, like, perfect. We should. Let's do, let's do, let's do tiers, okay? Tier. You get an S tier? Oh, yeah, yeah. S tier. S tier. Let's yeah, do S tier. Yeah, yeah, for because sure. I think a perfect anime doesn't exist. I don't no, think there's for sure. anything that's perfect. For my optimist, but for sure. Yeah. S tier. It's an S tier, dude. It's one of those S tier anime. It's S tier. Like, even Bleach, I don't think is S tier. I think Bleach this season is going to be S tier. But I agree completely, completely with that. All right. All right, guys. Uh, this has been... Ending it here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exactly. This has been Jay West and this is RJ. Um, you guys have a nice day. Uh, we're going to do another review on the other anime that's been coming out this season. My, not My Hero. My Hero's still going. Yep. We'll do Bleach and um, Chainsaw Man. Yeah. You guys have a nice day. Cue that outro. Happy New Year. Oh. Oh.